What's up? So I want to talk about some current events. Um, I just recently watched the Penguin Z Zero video. Is it Penguin Zero? Penguin Penguin Z Zero. I don't know. I just recently watched one of his videos talking about a current event where a 14 year old ended his own life because um, basically he he fell in love with an AI chat bot and then um, he his last words were something like oh I'll meet you soon and then he he ended his his life and and I just kind of wanted to talk about like my opinions on this really tragic case really sad for the family involved and it kind of shows you like the, the direction that our society is moving towards so the the 14 year old child well, he, he's a teenager right so we'll, we'll call him a child right he's he's under 18 um he this 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 he falls in love with an AI chatbot from character.ai I think is a website and um, people are saying how like this is this is this is how society is changing right we've never seen something like this before and I just wanted to talk about how I don't think that's actually the case and how he, we've actually kind of like we've seen news articles of um, individuals falling in love with fake characters for quite some time now right it isn't just artificial intelligence it isn't just AI I remember a few years ago when some I, I think it was some Japanese dude who married his body pillow or he fell in love with like the body the anime character and then he and then he somehow like he got a body pillow of the anime character and then married the body pillow my bad it was a Korean guy who married his pillow and then a Japanese guy who married Hatsune Miku it's not like this is new, right? But the point is, like, this type of event isn't really actually new, right? Now, falling in love with, like, a body pillow or an AI chatbot might sound weird to you. Like, oh, I would never do that. What the heck? That's so That's so weird. That's so outlandish. Why would I do that? But if you really think about it, this this kind of, this is kind of like a logical progression. Like, it actually isn't actually that new. And you might not have realized it, but actually a lot of cases, this has happened to a, like this has shown in a lot of news articles that have shown up recently. Have you seen any recent news article or have you heard of anyone or are you yourself someone who has, who categorizes a YouTuber, influencer, streamer as a friend, as someone you love? In my opinion, isn't, aren't, isn't that the same, like almost the same thing as what happened to this, this 14 year old child? Our name for this is a parasocial relationship. Basically, it's like having a one-sided relationship with a streamer, a YouTuber, etc. Right? Like you think that you're really, um, you might personally believe that you're really close to this person because you know basically a lot of things about this person, right? They Maybe they vlog every day. Maybe they, um, they show their life out and you kind of get to kind of relate with this person. But if you think about it, that streamer or that YouTuber or that influencer, they don't actually know you, right? They don't, like, they see your profile picture, they see your comments, maybe they'll respond, but they don't actually know you. If you're walking down the street and you see this person, that person won't recognize you, right? You might recognize them because you've seen them multiple, multiple times, but this person has never seen you in your life, in their life. This person really just doesn't know you. It doesn't necessarily have to be malicious, right? It doesn't have to be like ill intent or like they're purposely doing so. They just don't know you. And worse yet, you don't even know if this person is, you don't know if this person is actually authentic to what they're, sh what they showcase themselves to be. You don't even know if they have your best interest at heart, right? Maybe they're, they could be faking it, but they could like not be trying to harm you but at the same rate there are also people that are faking it and also purposely trying to harm you maybe they're trying to manipulate you maybe they're trying to buy you to get you to buy something maybe they're trying to scam you they could be putting on a show they could be lying manipulating and you don't know that it looks like they're being authentic but maybe they're not i'm sure like oftentimes people aren't actually trying to be malicious right people aren't trying to be hurtful towards their audience but you do have those cases where it's true right look at all the I don't want to say his name, but the people that like pump out these crypto projects, right? It's promising and like trying to like basically getting their subscribers or getting their followers to to throw in money and basically lose all their money so that they can profit millions of dollars. Like you've heard those cases multiple, multiple times. Again, I don't want to say any names. I don't want to get sued. I don't want to get into any problem, right? But like that's happened multiple times. And like these people are just like using their subscribers or their followers as their personal piggy bank. At the same rate, they they act as if like you're part of a gang or you're part of like a group, right? You're part of this this like this collective that they are the head of, that they are like the figurehead of. Listen, like I care for all of you guys, right? I I I want for the I I wish for the betterment of society, right? I wish that 
everyone, including my followers, including my subscribers, including just some random Joe that just stumbled upon my video, I wish for everyone to be happy. I want for like the, an increase in global happiness, right? And I'm really grateful that you watch my videos and a bunch of you leave like the, <laughs> the funniest comments ever, right? But at the end of the day, I I don't know you. I, I don't know you personally. I don't know I don't know if that's your real profile picture. I don't know if that's what you look like. I don't know if that's your real name. I don't know what you like, what you dislike, right? I don't know what you do on a Friday afternoon. I, I don't know, right? I try my best to be authentic, to be my real self, but it doesn't change the fact that at the end of the day, I'm not talking to you individually. I mean, sometimes I'll mention your name. I'll be like, hey, this person left this comment, which is pretty funny, right? I'll, maybe I'll mention you out, but I'm not talking like, in general, I'm not talking to you individually. I'm I'm talking to a computer. I'm talking to a screen. I'm talking to a camera right now. I don't actually know you. And in the same vein, what if you don't know me, right? I talked I, I talked about this earlier, but you don't what if you don't know me, right? What if I'm just lying? What if this is the front, right? Like this is like like people putting on a show and maybe they talk different maybe they believe in different things on online maybe they um say things that they don't actually believe in how is that any different they're they're creating an artificial persona a fake person or a fake personality to showcase the real to to the internet which they aren't actually in real life right so is that really any different from an artificial intelligent creation or an ai created chatbot which is also basically creating this fake persona i don't know if that's really any different yeah you could say that there's an actual human being behind the screen behind whoever's faking that appearance but at the end of the day you're falling in love with or you're you're, you're becoming friends with someone that might be fake that someone that isn't actually like that doesn't actually exist because in real life they say th things that are completely different they believe in things that are di completely different they do things that are completely different another example like again i don't want to point out names or else people are going to say i'm political but there was a person who on mainstream media will call it coyote news who s publicly supported a candidate and then behind the back behind like privately he would have messages saying this guy's a whack job this guy's an idiot why would anyone believe in this person right like <laughs> i that that's how that's like the perfect example of just someone that's just putting on a front because they know what their followers want to hear they know what their followers want to believe and they're just lying in front of your face because they know that's what you want to hear and you'll click and you'll basically keep listening right like you don't know if these people these influencers and not even just influencers right these celebrities these influencers these these um celebrities you don't know if they are actually did I say celebrate twice? I probably did, but you don't know if they're actually like authentically themselves in front of a camera. But the point remains that these people that are in front of a camera, that's all they are. They're just talking in front of a camera. They they're not talking to you. They're not talking to you specifically or you like anyone specifically. They're talking in front of a camera. There's so many news stories that have come out recently where like even if you just talk about streamers, right? Where people like fall in love with streamers, they'll donate like a like a lot of their money, right? Maybe they might even be like financially strained, but they'll still donate a lot of money because they think that they're getting noticed. They think that they are friends with this person and that uh, maybe like uh, streamer senpai will notice them right I, 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 that was a poorly placed stupid joke but like like that happens a lot right think about all the all the female streamers that have their simp followers who are just giving them money because they they think that oh if i give them enough money then maybe this person will love me that person doesn't know you like like it doesn't matter how much money you're just a username and a piggy bank to them <laughs> I don't, it's really, the more I, the more examples I give of like this type of thing occurring, the less outlandish and the less weird that that, that kid falling in love with the, for, the, with the AI chatbot sounds. Is that not right? I, I guess maybe that, that might just be my opinion. Maybe it's completely different in your view, but in my opinion, it's very similar. And it's, I just wanted to talk about how it's not necessarily a, like a sudden leap right it's not like society didn't suddenly shift as soon as we had ai it's been a slow gradual grind and like you you're not you don't notice the change because of how slow it is right you don't notice slow change it, it doesn't happen all of a sudden it's just it this is just how society has been slowly progressing in my opinion i guess with this long video i just wanted to emphasize the importance of having an actual like authentic person-to-person -person, real life 
interpersonal relationships and just with two physical real human beings we're all human right we're naturally social we crave social interaction think about why solitary confinement is such a cruel punishment it's because it it strips us away of like basically one of our only desires right like one of the few things that we crave as human beings is being social we need to have a friend think about why is it so easy for humans to trust each other why do we feel so hurt when to the point where we literally feel like the same parts of your brain that activate when you feel pain are also activated when you feel betrayed like that's how ingrained trust and how important trust is and like how much it hurts to be betrayed i just i mean like i'm just a dude on the internet right like this is just my opinion but i i really do fear for just the way that humans are or like our human social like society in general is uh marching toward like the direction that society is marching towards it's just kind of kind of scary in a way and like all the big companies that want you to feel like a sense of community they always say a sense of community right online but like it's that exact community that kind of breeds these echo chambers but also like these these people that are following fake um what's it what do you call like a like a, like like not a, not a cult head but like like these fake figureheads like you don't want that right you want to have authentic real personal relationships at first society kind of shifted towards uh, replacing our social relationships to parasocial relationships right which is uh, the example i sp said before with people feeling like they're really what they're really close to with their friends with their with, with the fact that people think that they know exactly how um like celebrities or influencers uh talk right and they kind of feel really close to those people but we're kind of shifting from this parasocial relationship to what i call i don't i'm not sure if it's a real term but what i call a semi-social relationship which is like just they're not even social relationships but like people are developing relationships with fake entities with um in the case of the of the body pillow right with the with the anime character with the tv character or with the case of now this ai chatbot with an ai chatbot right like i don't know how this ends like i don't know how to end this but spend time with the people you love make new friends share experiences internet shouldn't be a replacement for social interaction no matter how much the big corporations want you to believe so right it's it's not a replacement for real life interactions with real life people i don't know i just feel that it's so i'm i myself i'm not like i'm not um, immune to falling for the same traps right it, it's so easy to just quickly believe someone online so quickly to so quickly trust someone that you see online because it seems like they um they're being authentic maybe they're being real like you you kind of see their emotions you see everything but at the end of the day like you're it's, it's just a screen right i'm just pixels on a on a i'm just pixels on a on a on a monitor whatever tv screen whatever i don't know what you watch me on tv a phone i don't know i don't know i don't never i never check my analytics but like i don't know this is just <laughs> i just hope that um we can kind of stop this while it's small before it becomes a even bigger problem right it like we didn't stop it when these social relationships became parasocial relationships and now that it's becoming what i call it again semi-social relationships with ai chatbots um it's just kind of the way that it's going and i just think that we really need to remind ourselves that it's really important to make like to keep up with the real friends that you have in real life and like again right sp like make new relationships in real oh it just got really dark again right just spend time with the people you love with the real people you know in real life right get to know each other make friends uh strengthen relationships create experiences right and the the internet should not be a, a replacement for social interaction i don't know i just wanted to give my like unrequited opinion on this small little soapbox that i have so i don't know i just feel really bad for this 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 child um who ended his life because of this genuine relationship that he felt he he found he found with this ai chatbot like regardless what you say he he felt that it was genuine and that makes it genuine right but like it just because it's a real relationship doesn't mean that it's a good relationship if that if that makes sense right it's not a even okay if, even if it's a genuine relationship it's a real relationship it isn't how do i say this i got it so even though it is a material relationship right it, it, it exists it isn't a genuine relationship right it isn't like 
like it's it's completely one-sided there's no relation like a relationship has to be um two-sided right like you can't a one-sided relationship doesn't mean anything right in the same way that so in the same way that the ch- the guy had a one-sided relationship with his ai chatbot a lot of people have this one-sided relationship with these influencers right and i just want to see genuine relationships between two understanding parties of which both people feel the same exact way towards each other right i guess that's it i don't i don't i really don't know how to end this i don't know like, like it just it's just really sad to see to i really feel so like I, I i just feel the pain of the parents of his family but yeah i don't know this is just my unrequited opinion on my little soapbox so i guess i'm gonna just end it there uh have a good day